Commercial fisheries like prawn trawling and lobster trapping are a crucial part of our seafood market, worth hundreds of millions of dollars a year. But what about the other fish life that get hauled up in traps and nets? Well, this bycatch is costly for the fishing industry and for our marine ecosystem. So scientists are coming up with all sorts of ingenious ways to prevent the wrong species from being caught. These hungry sea lions reckon lobsters in a trap are a ready-made meal, so they make cheeky raids on these commercial pots. Look at that cheeky thing. Oh, he got one. But about six juvenile sea lions a year were drowning after getting caught in traditional rock lobster traps. So, thanks to the FRDC, Dr. Nick Caputi and his team at WA Fisheries have created these simple steel bolts, which keep lobsters in, but sea lions out. We're not worried about the sea lion getting the feed of lobsters, but we are concerned about a, a number dying because they are a protected species. But the bolt is also low enough to enable the lobsters to get into the trap and doesn't interfere with the catch rate that the fishermen get. And such a simple device. Our prawn trawlers face a similar problem. Bigger animals like sharks and rays get caught in the nets. So prawn fisheries across Australia are using bycatch reduction devices to filter out unwanted species, like these trawl nets used in WA. These are skirt flaps which open up and allow the animal to escape and then they just fold back and they just keep the target species moving through into the cot end of the net but no large animals are landed on board the boats. Scientists are also using new net designs like square mesh to keep out smaller fish. Yeah, these are secondary devices, uh, which are larger meshes that are sewn into the net after the grid. So active fish to reorientate themselves and actually swim. Swim out uh, and swim up and out. away. Yeah. In commercial fisheries like Shark Bay, the grids and escape hatches are a big success. The data showed that 85 to 100 per cent of the large animals are now able to escape um, out of nets using these grids. These clever contraptions do slightly reduce the prawn trawler's catch, but there are big benefits for the fishos. Firstly, they don't have to handle these large animals that used to come on the sorting table, and they're heavy and large and can at, at times be quite dangerous, especially rays with barbs. Um, and similarly, um, the large animals used to crush some of the prawns and scallops, and hence the actual quality of the target species now is improved by utilising these measures. So not only are you improving bycatch, but you're actually improving the product fishes are actually targeting. <laughs>